clearly you are very intentionally here and clearly you're super interested in my journals because apparently I have a journal vlog um, that also maybe talks about a variety of other things in life, but uh, <laughs> it looks like I have a journal vlog that you are subscribed to. So here's my new journal. It was a gift from Ruby. It's got a spot on it that's greasy or something. I don't know because why would you start a journal that didn't have some sort of little flaw already in place? That seems silly. Look, it is all these wonderful things. I don't actually know what this one's supposed to mean. I mean, made of natural resource, made of natural things, I guess. It's recycled or made of recycled things. And it is hecho a mano. Come on. There we go. Ecuador. So Ruby got it for me. Uh, not very secretively. <laughs> <laughs> a Christmas present last year at... Um, a crafty fair in the old airport and this guy has some sort of story or background that we could probably look up I don't know I don't really know about this guy um, clearly an important legend I should probably maybe figure that out before the end of this but I also stole this from Ruby this is my title page it's called Yama La Vida and you can see all of the visual puns that have been made um, the intention is 100% stolen from Ruby as well. That is to not only love life, but also to not take it too seriously along the way, which clearly I have problems with. Uh, problems maybe is too strong of a word, given that we're trying to be a little bit sillier, but nevertheless uh, uh, genuine. So... Um, you know, you should call life, or you should maybe um, make a llama out of life, or maybe life is on flames. Whee, whee. So many, so many options. Um, I'm gonna just keep showing you this, it's probably gonna be really long, and you're just gonna see. So this is the, the contents of the table of, and it's a little different from my previous journal in that I've given myself less room for trips, because I don't imagine my journals have been lasting um, somewhere between four and or five and six months. And so I imagine that the space is probably more than sufficient, especially if I write so teeny tiny uh, in the months. Um, but then in that time, there are only so many trips that I'll be able to do. I will for sure go to uh, China and I will, might do a trip within Bangladesh in March and I might do all sorts of travel this summer so maybe it'll get filled up and it was poor planning for me to give not enough space um and then topical i've been really enjoying like when i've done like a page that was the last one i showed you was a spread of my wardrobe which is just visual stuff but then previously and i i did a video where i showed you about like much ado about burnout um i also did when i was on vacation a page about um, my personality type which I didn't share with you guys uh, but so I've enjoyed having those and and kind of want to encourage myself to do more of them and then also maybe I just have different lists that I always put in here so um, it starts out with life project which is oh my goodness taking up so much pages so many pages it's just started it's a baby journal and it's already so full poor journal um, but the first thing it starts with is the future log slash year at a glance. Um, and I have literally the entire next year in here, which is crazy sauce. Um, and like that is look next February, not the one that we're currently in, but next one's gonna be a leap year. And I was pointing this out um, to Eric and he was like, but aren't leap years? I told him it was this year was going to be a leap year because all I remembered was writing it in here. And he's like, but aren't leap years normally even years? And this is super stupid, but I, I just, I had never thought, but like if they're every four years, right, then they're always going to be on even years. Why didn't I not put this together? Obviously I haven't been, uh, <laughs> and leap years aren't that impressive to me. Um, and then I have my almost completely unforeseeable but perhaps tiny bit foreseeable future 
open space. So uh, the idea is even if the journal doesn't last me the whole time that I like all of this, but that I still have a place where I can record the information um, and be able to see. So I have not in my entire um, academic calendar for the next year, but quite a bit of information um, splayed out here and that it'll probably be hopefully helpful and relevant for that stuff and jazz. Mm -hmm. Yep. So then the next part that I have is my life project stuff, which I showed you in my last journal. And I kind of simplified the layout a little bit and simplified um, <laughs> my steps. <laughs> they are, they're, oh, come on, focus. They're pretty involved steps, as you can see. This is a complicated, this is a complicated recursive process. Um, and then I have like up here in September returning to uh, like a little open for how I ended up, ended up uh, actually addressing it. Um, so those are my physical health goals that I established in January and I just um, took out a bunch, like the ones that I'd already accomplished, I took out so you can't see that I've accomplished things. Um, and then this is a big, space suck but I've given myself space for all of the goals which I'm probably not like as I said already this journal is not going to last that long but I think um making space for what will happen is helpful and so it's just for the goals so theoretically I'll do my like status tracker somewhere like where am I current status and then only leave the goals here but then if I I guess I also thought if I wanted to create goals before I even get to that time, if something like, for instance, digital health, I'm thinking about a lot more lately. Um, if I get to the point where I want to make a goal about digital health and it's not yet um, August, which is pretty far away, maybe I will still be able to want to write a goal here. That would be fine. Or I'll leave it blank and I'll just know that, that I'll get there sometime in the future. Uh, cool, so you guys are seven minutes into a video about my journal. <laughs> You're obviously welcome to not listen or stop to pop at any point. Um, but this is my spread for February, and I have my whole calendar here, and I have highlighted. Look, I have birthdays of people who are important to me, and then I have all my school events. And then over here, I'm keeping some of my more personal uh, events, which I don't think that there are that many planned yet, but I've given myself lots of space so that when I can. For January, this would have been jam-packed with like flights and stuff. Um, theoretically, I have a flight on the 28th or just after, because that's when I'm going to go on Discovery Week to China, but I don't have that information in my journal yet. And then I have my to-do list, and then this is a tracker. I also up here like so the birthdays I highlighted the work things I underlined I might um, do something else I don't work on the 21st that's pretty cool and the 24th is actually a like in service day so I won't have students so the kids get a four day weekend the lucky bastards um, <laughs> I should be careful how I talk about kids also since I've made this video public for at least a little bit um, Anyway, I kept that same like highlighting and underlining down here because I think it's helpful to see. But this is for um, maybe continuing a little bit of my work that I was doing on um, physical health. So I realized lately that I've been drinking a lot of coffee and maybe I shouldn't. And I also realized lately I have not been drinking enough water, which I definitely should. Um, I think my hours of sleep are actually pretty decent, but I'm still kind of curious to track them. So I will do that. And then I have down at the bottom the other things that I probably need to do more often, which is exercise, which actually on some level I'm tracking this because I am doing it. <laughs> and, and I want some credit <laughs> from myself. Uh, and then, yeah, well, I, I, I need to wear my retainer. Look, I, it's only day two though. I, I still have a chance today. I could get all my X's if I wanted to. Um, yeah, and then um, and then I have the writing that I've done, which y'all don't need to see. And I started a little bit of work on, um, mental health because Friday or Friday, because February, um, is the focus is mental health. So I have to figure out, I don't know what I'm in track, but, but I'm going to figure out what that is. 
And then, because um, I did this before with my last one, oh look guys, reading, it is pretty sexy. Uh, all of the blank, all of the blank promises, hopes, dreams, aspirations, guaranteed frustrations. <laughs> all right. Um, ah, the one thing though I want to say is I think that, that I might be really annoyed with this journal when I get to the end because like that's that's just gonna be frustrating to write on and look at how inefficient it is like look at how much page I won't be able to write on that's a lot of page I'm gonna have a tiny tiny portion of page is gonna get more and more narrow as I go through but um the paper feels nice and it's been doing a pretty good job of not like bleeding too thoroughly through either, which is good. So that, my friends, is my new journal. And uh, it's 11 minutes in, basically. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, hearts, goodbye.